folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. Tonight, I've come to a place I've been wanting to try for a while. It's called the Smile Land Pattaya Street Food Market. It's up in North Pattaya. This area is quickly becoming a little bit of a destination in the, in the evenings. We'll take a look around, but I've never been here before. First time. First, let's just take a little look around and see what there is to see. So here's the deal, the place is new and probably only 10 to 15% of it's open. There's a lot of these stalls that they're waiting for clients to open up, peddlers, and there'll be a total street food experience here. But from what's available, I was still able to find something new, something I've never had before. And that's why I come to these type of places to get something different, to get something a little bit special. And I went to Tappan Kirijo, Tappan Kirijo. They have grills right in the table and they grill the food and when they're done grilling the food it goes on the grill to keep warm while you eat you kind of eat off the grill if you will anyway i got a dish called yake sobo yake sobo pork and noodles and vegetables all wrapped up in an egg omelet they grilled that all up slopped it down onto the grill and uh, i murdered it it was great i'll show you what it looked like So yeah, that's what it was. Now, Lon, she got something from a stall across the way, some Thai kale with pork. So if you get something at one stall, you can eat at the other stall, whatever. But now I've come over to the cocktail cart, 2-0, I think it's called. It's a little converted VW bus, and we're having a, a big Mai Tai here that we'll, that we'll share with two straws. We had to, had to have them cut the straw down a little bit. The straw was too long. <laughs> anyway, this area, like I alluded to, there's stuff all around here. There's a whole street up here with restaurants bars one place is open now and i said there's no customers and i said oh it's busy at 11 o'clock 11 o'clock at night so a mix of entertainment food mostly food some bars things like that high style bars big korean restaurant right across the street kind of up here just just around the corner from central marina this soy that runs kind of parallel with second road I'll show you a map a map mark where it is the entire place is really really come come to life and everything here is new every place i visited was brand new including the smile and Patia street food market just a little evening out and then tomorrow we'll do something else so that's right the following day we were invited out by lake Mapuchan. but before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's take a quick look at the map here first the, the smile and Patia. i'll show you where that is there's central marina for a reference and you'll see the road that runs right behind that takes you right down to the smile and Patia street food market of course there's second road but Miles and miles away from there, kind of between Lake Maprachan and Siam Country Club, kind of nestled right in between on Siam Country Club Road, well, that's where you will find Cobb and Company. And that's where we're going to have lunch today. So let's take a quick look at that. So we're right back where we were in the last episode. If you watched that, we, we took some bikes and we went, went on a little ride and we rode a lot of neat vehicles and went in a lot of neat places. I'll put the video up here if you missed it. But one of the first things we did was stop here at Cobb and Company and we wanted to eat breakfast, but they're closed on Tuesdays. I didn't know that, they're closed every Tuesday. Today is not a Tuesday, it's a Sunday. Behind me is a Lamborghini tractor. I never heard of such a thing. He's a dealer for Lamborghini, he doesn't use this, but I think he said there's also a Ferrari tractor. Incredible. But this is an 80 horsepower, big, big tractor here. You think, I think he said it's 1.25 million baht. So that's gonna put it somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 38,000 US dollars, probably a little under 40,000 US dollars for a big boy like that four-wheel drive. Anyway, we're not here to look at tractors or buy one. We're here to go eat. So we'll go in, we'll meet uh, the uh, staff here at Cobb and Company, and we'll have something to eat. Okay, this is this is Cobb. Hi. And if you come to Cobb, 
she'll be here. Yes. She's named after her. So, yes. Call and call. Uh. <laughs> so she's going to rustle us up some food and we'll see what it is. But I just saw some pies in the case. They make those here. I was going to ask where they get them. They're beautiful pies, I'll show you. Lovely pies indeed, but they have both outdoor and indoor air conditioned dining here. So as we uh, take a quick look at the pies, let's look around the restaurant and show you what's doing here and then we'll get something to eat. Nothing small about that. <laughs> so wow, what an impressive menu. In addition to the menu, I'll show you that real quick, but they also have pizzas. And here's the, here's the deal. If you live within five kilometers of here, so if you live in the Lake Mapachan area, they'll deliver it. I mean, they'll deliver it. Either uh, Miss Cobb or Carrie, the, the, it's a husband and wife team. They really work good together as well. But they, they're trying to build up that pizza delivery business. So. If you order through Grab or one of the other uh, services, Grab's waiting outside right now as I speak, the prices are higher to accommodate that. So for, the, for that reason, it's always better if you can get the business to deliver it or you pick it up yourself, you save some money over Grab because it's a fee built in. But anyway, I just wanted something light. And the big thing here on Sundays is a, a full Sunday roast, different kinds of meat and uh, Yorkshire pudding and potatoes and vegetables. I'll show you one. If somebody else ordered, I couldn't eat all that. So I just ordered a little chicken wrap, a Thai chicken wrap, wow, well, full of flavor, a little bit spicy, not much, but light and very satisfying. And Lon got Thai food. Everything was good. The reason, the other reason I wanted something light is I noticed the, the dessert case in here, full of pies, cherry cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake, apple pie. I, I just gotta have a piece of that apple pie. I told her, I said, I'm just gonna have something light for lunch because I want a piece of apple pie. Uh, with that uh, Sunday uh, roast dinner, there's no way I could have handled that. Also have live music here on Sundays. They're getting ready to set up. We'll take a look at that in a minute. They originally apparently opened just for breakfast here. And over time they advanced and served lunch and dinner. But really a full menu is a lot of things I wanted to try. I just took the chef's recommendation. But it's, it actually started even before they had this as a coffee shop. It was just a little coffee shop inside, but here's the thing with that. If you're a long watcher of the channel, when we went to Chiang Mai, we rode up the Doi Satep, Doi Satep, the mountain, the mountaintop, and there's a coffee shop way on the top of that mountain. Well, they have their coffee. That's where their coffee comes from. It's the same bag, it's the same icon, the, the design on the bag. That's where it comes from. So great coffee right from the mountains of Chiang Mai. Uh, along with those desserts, so that's another win. Everything was delicious, Cobb. The pie. pie, I really enjoyed the pie. Uh, so long since I had a good piece of apple pie like that. And I, I know there's no way I could eat that whole Sunday roast, but it looked great. So if I ever want one, I know where to get it. Come Thank see him. You. Come see him. Bye. Bye bye. So on the way back, Lon wanted to hit the the Buffalo Market, Talad Kwai. Talad Kwai here on Tepperset Road. Don't worry, they don't sell buffaloes here. It's more like a flea market or secondhand goods market. We'll take a quick look around, see what she's gonna get. But uh, it's open on the weekends here. Usually in the late afternoon, early evening, they're just setting up. There's some people already set up. We'll take a quick look around.
So not to be confused with the big Teprasit weekend market, that's just a, another block or two farther up Teprasit, closer to Sukhumvit Road. But even though this is mostly used good, there, there are new goods here. I guess the theme would be bargains. I think people come here looking for a bargain, something cheap, whether it be clothes or household goods or whatever. So I'll show you a couple of the bargains we ended up with, these picture frames. First item up for bids there. They are real glass and then wood picture frames, a little bit of gold uh, spray paint or whatever on the on the wood, but 40 baht each for those. So uh, under a dollar 50 per picture frame, we got a couple of those. So I think that was a pretty good deal. She says they're generally less, a frame like that would generally, generally be closer to 300 baht at a store, like a big box store, big C or something like that. You can rent a space out here, a two meter by two meter space, for a day cost 120 baht out here that's not too much it's a small nut to crack but you got to figure the things you're selling are going to be cheap so maybe not much overhead the second item up for bids here there you go a couple bowls and a stainless steel ice bucket there so sometimes uh, when you're bargaining it's good to buy multiple items and you get the price down on everything so there we go i think it was 80 baht for those three items oh man less way less than three dollars we'll call it 250 anyway Something next time right here from Patia, but for this one, gotta leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.